My own experience when I started at Incor back in 95 or so um, was really, I was, it was the first time I'd ever been at a conference like this. And it felt like all of a sudden I could exhale. Uh, and it was really such a great experience. And I, and I came the first time and I did a concurrent session and I was really pleased for that. And then I began to really network with other people. Now it begins to feel like a little bit like a, home, uh, like a family reunion. And so it's like coming home professionally every year uh, when I come to Encore because now I see people that I've made um, friends with um, from across the country who are in very different types of institutions or doing different jobs. And certainly my own profession um, has, or my own professional path has changed over time. And so it's really interesting that I can still keep coming back to Encore and still getting something that helps me not only per personally but also professionally. And I think that folks who attend INCOR, um, and I know that about each year, about 50% of the attendees are first time attendees. So I think it still provides that opportunity for newcomers to you know, come here and realize, wow, this is a really unique space. Uh, this is a great opportunity to be able to really be in dialogue um, around the issues that we really sort of delve into here, and not just superficially, but at a deeper level. Uh, and I think for those that who, of us who might be a little bit more seasoned um, in terms of doing social justice work, it gives us an opportunity to really connect with other people who are also doing the same work. Because we're, we're isolated in our own institutions. Because there might only be one or two or a small handful. And in core, there's thousands.